Hello lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to play Traveler's Rest. I have seen a couple videos about this game so far and it looks super super cute and fun. It gives me Stardew Valley vibes but instead of like a farm you have a inn and a bar to run. So this is going to be my first playthrough of this. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe as well for more content like this. Okay, and I believe this is going to be the name of our tavern, so... Let's go with that. And accept... Welcome to Traveler's Rest. This game is currently in early access, which means it's still being developed based on your feedback. If you enjoy your time, please consider leaving a review to support this indie project. Thank you. Press space to continue. Alright, so it's pause to move, left shift to run, B, enter, and space to continue. Okay. Oh, that's nice that you can run. Ooh. I like that. And then enter. While in decoration mode, you can place items to select an object. Move the cursor over it. Pressed. And press left mouse button or E. Try selecting the table. Press space to continue. So. Left mouse. Well, move with the mouse or E. And. Okay. Let's kind of put it in the center. Customers need a place to sit. Press the bench so they face the table. Now you can rotate an item by pressing R, Q to add an item to your inventory. So we'll go with that and then that. Customers were also expect their table to be well lit in the evening. Try placing a candle on the table. Candles are consumed over the course of the day so you will need to replace them in the future. Okay. So we'll just put that like right there. Exit. Decorate mode. Go closer to the book on the bar. And press E to open your stock. So there. And then, oh, the book's back here it looks like. E. Storing food heal here will add it to your bar stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will solve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. So, back, press O to open your tavern and serve some gruel. Remember, exit decorator mode. Okay, so O, you have a guest, press A. First customer, serve six customers. Okay, so I'm assuming H to exit, yeah. Oh, okay, so first customer that we have. Okay, let's go up here. And E to serve. E to serve. She was a fine, fine girl. Me pig Ste Stella was. Oh, that's cool that they have like little chat boxes above their head. Okay. So this is also... Quest complete. First customers. So it looks like we got individual tables, stool, and more candles. Close up the tavern so you can place your items. Call last orders by pressing zero or O. This will prevent new customers from entering. Okay. Press O again and it will force your tavern to close, but you will lose reputation. Instead, wait for your customers to leave. And then I have a new quest. Squirrel, serve eight bowls of gruel. Okay. Oh, this is actually really cute. I like this so far. I heard the owner of this place is a cultist. Oh, well, pretty sure I'm not a cultist, but, you know, who knows? <laughs> Uh, set up a table using your new items in your decorating mode. Pressing B, select an item on your action bar using will, mouse, and press F. 
Okay, let's put this just in the corner. Okay, so let me... Why won't it let me... Okay, so I can put it... Okay. So, for some reason it won't let me put it on the sides, but it would let me put them on, like, facing each other. Open your tavern, serve new customers, complete more quests, unlock new upgrades. F. Put that right there. B. Okay. Now we just gotta wait for more people to show. So I believe this is, yeah, so this looks like the clock and it's 8 o'clock at night. Okay. Uh, when your customer says dirty the floor, clean the floor by selecting the mop. Okay, so it looks like you have to hold F down. Okay. Quest complete. Looks like we got a bucket of water and porridge. You can now serve porridge and water. Press E near the book to add porridge to your inventory. A table has become dirty. Press E next to the table to clean it. Okay, so let's just put this in here. Okay. Uh, drinks can, or customers can order drinks. Drinks can be served in the tavern. Uh, drinks to be served in the tavern are stored in the drink. The taps will only be filled with carbonated drinks like beer, while kegs can be filled with any drink. If you don't have any beverage available, customers will just ask you for water. In order to sort, serve it, the water must be stored in one of your drink dispensers. Go to the keg and press Q. Okay. Customer has gla asked for a glass of water. Approach the keg, press and hold E to pour a glass, and then E, remember the color. Can be assigned to each drink. So, E. Now the drink has been added to your tray, you will be able to see drinks on your tray above the action bar. Uh, you can return the drink from your tray to the dispenser. You can see the beverage table on the right side of the bar. When a customer orders from their table, an indicator will appear and will open up as you move closer to it, as well as seeing current orders. You can also drop off and pick up orders at the beverage table, which will be very useful when there are multiple people working at the tavern, whether they are your friends or your employees. Okay, so serve him. We have to clean. Clean. So I just um or do I actually okay so I actually have to come out to the table too. Table is getting gross.
I got an axe. Cool. You obtained a copper axe, close your tavern, go outside to top trees in order to advance your quest and gain technology. Okay. Let me... So we'll do last calls. Let's go down here and clean the table. Okay, so it looks like everyone left. And we have a mess. Okay, so can I just walk out? Okay, so I can just walk out here. Oh, I have a little chest. Oh, that's cool. And... Uh, oh, I can hire staff, orders, calendar... So your calendar where important events will be noted, select any day, mark it as an... Okay. So... So what I collected. Maybe it's noon. I'm gonna assume it's noon and not midnight. Here you can order items for your tavern. Simply select an item to add it to your basket or shift click to add five. After ordering an item will appear in your delivery box outside in three hours. Okay, how much? So I have 20 silver. I think for now we will just leave it. I do need to go chop down some trees. Oh, I love the little animation for this. This is too cute. So does it... Okay, so it's like Stardew. So we need one more tree. Yeah. Cut down five trees with a copper axe. Uh, You've obtained your first work area of the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using decorative mode. Select copper sickle, press F to clear weeds. Remember, you won't be able to use it in decorative mode. Okay. After building the sawmill, exit and get close to it. And then, oh, you get a crafting menu. Okay, this has a lot more to it than I thought it did. Okay. So, can I? Okay, that's nice. Right here will be a good space. Let me just chop down a couple of these couple trees. Oh, can I? I can't chop that one down. Okay, that's fine.
Okay, so open. Each crafter has a list of recipes. Uh, these show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Press the recipe name to begin crafting. So. Okay, I had a quest. What is it? Fabricate two or 20 wooden planks. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move closer to E. Okay. So. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. And let's go open up the tavern while we wait for that then. Okay. I don't think I need to put any more... I got a old doorman. You know, it's it's something. It's like a whole thing back there. Okay. It's the second time that we're being called a cultist. I have conflicting feelings about that. Uh, we have reached a new reputation milestone. Each milestone locks new items and mechanics. Uh, brewing and cooking tech trees. Okay, so tech trees are how you learn new recipes. Each tech costs a skill point, which can be earned from crafting. Skill points are split into physics, nature, and mental. So. Okay, so I have a mild L farming I don't have. Coming soon. Mat magic and social. Ooh! That's exciting. Okay. That's my quest. Inventory. Okay. There we go. Let's go check on my... Let's... Actually, I... Um... So we got a pickaxe. You have acquired copper pickaxe. You can pick mine lo loids and get metals and minerals. Okay, so that looks like that comes back.
do 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 up oh, mine metals mine four metal ores we got a smelter anvil and stump with an axe okay you've attained the smelter and the anvil you can build the smelter in a a new working area dedicated to metals will be created this area cannot overlap any other some objects can be placed on certain the anvil only works in the metal working okay so let's go here all right so we oh so i can build it with those cool okay Anvil, we will put craft ten iron nails. I'm assuming I will need. Uh, click firewood on the left side of the crafting menu. This will remove one firewood from your inventory. You can add, okay. Oh, I need 15 fuel, okay. I need 10 nails, so we are going to be... Okay, so that was just cool. go up. Oh, what is this? Uh, the tension between Clive and Barker and Brock are in ah, it's getting late. Call us orders. Okay. Uh, more and more, this is not going to end well for us. I know it's horrible, but Fredro is no longer with us. We must think about what's best for the group. This has really gotten out of hand. Huh. What about this? Okay, so I can. Uh, Clive acts like none of this is his fault and ain't acts and he says, no way. So it looks like a group in the middle of a dispute. We'll just leave them be for now, I guess. Let them figure it out themselves. Oh, it does tell you that. Okay, so it's Tuesday. Cool. So I like that I don't have an energy like Stardew, so I can kind of just be out here for a while without having to worry.
Okay, so it looks like I can't go that way, so let's go up, I guess. Ooh, what's this? I got a little, oh, oh, you're about, oh no, okay, so we do have a bedtime, okay, so 3 a.m., it's 2, so, let's just go back, actually, yeah, I can pick up my, got five nails, go back, okay, so we're, bed up here, Probably should have explored first. No, nothing is up here, so I'm assuming. Okay, here's my bed. I'll have to make it? Okay. Oh no, you can make it. Okay, that's great. I, I love that. That's so cute. Oh, this is your bedroom. Sleep in your bed to save. If you stay up late, you will pass out. Select a save to override. Well, we have to make the bed. We can't be animals. We are running on three hours of sleep. Okay. Okay, let's... Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up for the day. You need more logs for crafting. And the fireplace. Uh... Okay, so let's... So that's doing that. Let's go ahead and open up. If tavern has become cold, use the fireplace. Now it says it's hot. Temperature. On a workbench. Let's go, server customers. Uh, oh no, the customers become a nuisance. They run away. I want to hit them with your mop. I I love that. That that was great. Yeah, let's go figure out this workbench. I think we probably should just wait just in case anyone else wants anything.
All right, so I'm going to end the video there. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like it. As well, if you want more content like this, subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you next time.